What's up, what's up, everybody? It is your boy Mug the Dude here, guys, and we got some news. I'm probably going to put it in this video, but there was a scan that was released from just a Dragon Ball scan. Um, Android 21 is a figure, but it's base form Android 21. So I don't know if they're going to give her a transformation because if they just literally give us like lab coat Android 21, I'm actually going to be pretty triggered. But if they don't give us something like that, am I going to lose? That's the attack blue Vegeta, right? Oh, you got a lot of damage, though. A lot of damage, though. So I got to actually kill like a ton of figures or I lose here. So I kind of expect you to go blue Vegeta, Ultra Instinct, Goku, off for it. I don't expect you to do anything else. Let's do that. Smart move, Mugs. Smart move. I'll take it. All right, guys. So Android 21, I didn't see her stats, but I did. Like, you could barely see if you squinted. She had all four of her stats were quadruple digits. So it's not like she's crazy. It's not like she has one stat that's just, like, super small, like Broly. So first of all, guys, I just want to say, that Goku is insane. I might be doing a video for him on the Forgotten Figure series. And I have a second series coming up that is actually very, I think everybody will love and it will in, it will involve you, the fans, and it will involve Discord. So if you guys, if you guys aren't in my Discord, go down. I've really been slacking on hopping on Discord, which I need to go into it, which I'm going to more. Shouts to this man. This man's like a level 92. Is he talking to me? He's not talking to me. Also, shout out to this other player. I just barely beat this other player like five seconds ago. Um, spirit Bomb. That's all I have to say is I just got lucky with the Spirit Bomb. But... Man ran double tell, so GG. Um, yeah, this is death. Rate. Are you losing your blue Goku, though? Because that's the one I really... Oh, 7,000 HP is going to be steep, though. And by the way, guys, this Goku gains attack like crazy. He gains 500 attack per turn. And then he gains 500 attack for that turn, and then he gives everybody 180 defense for that turn, and he gives 180, and then he gives everybody what? I needed that double. That's the only double I cared about. You couldn't give me any more doubles in the game. This is the double that matters. GG. GG. That math kind of doesn't make sense, but I'll take it. You were you're dead no matter what, and I'm taking 30% less damage. So, my master's taking 30% less damage. So guys, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is. Like, one of the best figures in the entire... Not one of the best figures in the entire game, but he's one of the most, like, underrated, but really good. Like, I don't see anybody use him. I think I've seen Sun Tantana, shout out to you, brother. I think I've seen him use him once. And he's just a... This dude is just a beast. Look at this. Already has 6,000 attack. He's about to gain 500 more attack. And then he gains 180 defense to all allies repeatable. Then he gives himself 500 attack for that turn. And then 180 defense for everybody else for that turn. So everybody is getting tankier and they're hitting harder and harder. Let's just throw out this. Because I know I'm going to be, be able to outspeed you. 350, 380, 24, 4, 4. Ooh, this is going to be close. Yeah, this is going to be really close. So I kind of want to be able to throw on not you. But you because you gain that. You gain that. Yeah, you only have 1,900. I should be able to win in Sweden. Let's see, that's cool. GG, man. Um, so you're going to lose two figures here, right? Because Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is not somebody to mess with. And Super Saiyan 4 Goku just hits insanely hard, guys. But back to Android 21. We are getting an Android 21. I didn't, like, I don't know. There's so many. When they, when they first started pushing out DLC, and I honestly think Dims realizes that Hero Coliseum is bigger than it really is. Um, because... Before is like we never got pictures of the scans. Now this is two straight scans that we've gotten for two straight DLCs. The one with the Master Ultra Instinct Goku, Blue Gogeta, and Broly, the new ones, the newer ones, not the older ones, not the UR Broly's and stuff. But we didn't get a scan for any Hero Coliseum before like this. So now we're getting actual scans more and more, released more and more, which I think is amazing in every way, shape, and form. I can't hate on any of that. But... I don't know what other figures we're going to get because they really can't just flat out say we're getting this, this, and this. I honestly think they like keeping it a surprise. You should die, right? Yeah, cool. And then Gogeta should die if he gets a double. This team is just broken. Shout out to him, though. He's running a god team. He literally is running a Realm of Gods team with... No. Shout out to you. All right, guys. We'll be right back. Then we'll talk about Android 21 a little more. I might use a different team. I do like that Super Saiyan 4. Okay. Oh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku is so good. Guys, but we'll be right back. Let's get into it. Love y'all. Thank you guys so much. Hashtag Road to 3K. What am I at right now? Let me, let me give you some...
insight of what the number's at. You guys are probably looking right now. You probably will beat me to finding the number right now. What am I at? 26.45, guys. Let's get me higher. Let's get to three. Shout out to Tamea Purvis. Shout out to Brandon. And shout out to Biddy Squirrel 98. All right, guys. We are back. And honestly, some speculations for the new DLC. Um, Topo. Shout out to whoever commented Topo. Because Topo is actually a good one. But he wasn't in Fighters. But I don't. Because Kefla and Baby Vegeta have nothing to do with each other, and they were released in the same DLC. So, like, I don't know. It, it's literally a crapshoot, guys. Comment down below who you think are going to be figures. Be reasonable. Be semi-reasonable with it, but... Okay, cool. Whenever I, I'm glad he doesn't have the attack Vegeta, at least. You have a one-skill Piccolo, though. Off-rip. Off-rip, this is happening. I gotta do this. If he's running a one skill pickle, I guarantee you I'm smashing your. I'm smashing your. Yeah. Run a one skill pickle. Run him a one skill pickle. I'm calling it out. And if he runs Rose, I'm fine with it. Yep. Let's go, boy. We're going for. We're going second. Hopefully. I have Vados. Vados is actually pretty fast. Actually, I might not be going second. Um, regardless, I'm pretty sure Hit is not as fast. It is faster. Ooh. Really want that 100. Let's go. I'll take it. Cause I don't want a one. I don't want him to get SEC skills because I want him to get the plus um, 3,000 speed. So he's gonna go first and hit first. Now, guys, this team is probably my favorite team I've ever made. I love it. I love the fact that Vados. She is very important to the team. As soon as Vados dies, it's a pretty easy team to beat. But at the same time, you have hit can lower defense to zero. Super Saiyan 4 Goku with the damage reduction. With the, da with the damage dealt lowering. Then you have Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta with the damage dealt lowering. And then you have Blue Goku who just hits insanely hard in his trigger square. And outside of his trigger square, he hits pretty hard as well. And he has really nobody to... As soon as he puts Vados out, I'm smashing Vados. Or I'm at least lowering her defense to zero with Hit. Because Hit, once he lowers someone's defense to zero, they automatically basically have to move that character. Otherwise, that character is going to die ne the, the turn after. Yep, cool. That's why when usually you see people lowering their defense, that is why I like the Big Bang Vegeta that first came out in the first batch of DLC. I don't want this double. I guess I'll take it. Um, Rosé is a dangerous thing, though. I cannot keep hitting Rosé, though. But I have to, because like, I literally just can't ignore him. Next turn, if he puts Rosé there, I'm putting Blue Goku bottom right, and Blue Goku is going to steamroll your steamroll your team. And now we got the hard hitter, who has a 20% damage buff, 8,000 attack, should hit for... 9k and give me the double yeah, that's a ballsy move ballsy move on jorge adriano 007 triple oh seven not double triple oh seven so i'm in the lead here in figure hp and in master hp yeah, you really don't want me doing this a lot though you really don't want me doing that to you a lot because it's gonna happen again eventually you know what Mm, do I want to run Blue Vegeta or do I want to run Hit just to lower Vados' defense to zero? Because as soon as I lower Vados' defense to zero, it's over. We're going to run Blue Vegeta. Cool, I'll take it. Yep, because here we go. Zero. I mean, 10% damage up by all opponents. Minus 10% damage up by all opponents. So even if Rose gets SEC skills, it's void. It's not happening anymore. Rose is fast. I should be able to go... I don't know. I should be able to go second, right? No. I need 100, though. I need literally 100. Nope. Nothing happening. Cool. 220 is the slowest number I can take. I'll take this. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta isn't going to take any damage from Vados. You're going to hit fairly. No, you're not going to hit that hard because you don't have Vados anymore. Next turn, I'm throwing hit out. Plus, I'm putting Blue Vegeta top middle. Blue, Blue Goku top middle to kill that. To at least dent Piccolo. Because that, that's an 0-1 skill pickle. He doesn't really hit that hard. And you're going to be dealing 10% less damage again, which is beautiful. Beautiful. That is why I love this figure. I love that Blue Evolution Vegeta figure, guys. But like I was saying, Android 21, I'm not so sure what her stats are going to be. I'm assuming she's going to she's gonna have an Android gimmick, like switch some, switch some stats, lower some stats, or lock you in place. Honestly, I wish they would lock in place and switch stats so they can't move, or something like that. I know that would be pretty broken, or pretty crazy, but like switching defense and speed would be good, or switching attack and defense. Because switching attack and speed is a little, is a little crazy. You shouldn't hit that hard, though. 
I'll take it. Even if you get a double, I'm fine with this. All right, cool. Next turn, I'm still throwing her out, though. <clears throat> I can't really ignore it, because I need bottles on the field to run this team. Next turn, I'm running hit, though. That's no damage. I'll take it. Cool. Rose's dead. Rose should die here. Because once I kill Rose, you're dead, dude. And my master isn't going to be taking that much damage. Plus, Piccolo should not be able to kill Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I'm going to go second. Cool. 110. I'll take it. Rose might be able to kill Hit. Might. Might be able to kill Hit. But even if he doesn't, yeah, Blue Goku has a 50% damage buff. So even if, how much HP? He has above like nine, right? Ooh, only above seven. Your damage dealt is getting lowered again. So that's only, you're taking, you're doing 30% less damage. This is a win. This is a win for me. I'm taking out Rose. And Rose is the only character that can realistically kill Vados. Plus, he, he would have to use Ultra Instinct Goku as well. But outside of Ultra Instinct Goku, there's really nobody that can threaten, threaten Vados. Even that Extreme Battle Goku is going to be iffy. Vados is super low. I need to lower his Vados HP to zero. I need to lower Vados HP to zero. I need to kill Vados, guys. But this is a really fun match. I love this team, though. I've used this team so many times, and it's just every time it's super satisfying to use. Super satisfying. You're dead, though. Not from him, but from another character. Yeah, you're dead. You're dead. Blue Goku's going to stomp you. Yep, Blue Goku's gonna stomp you. I'm gonna be doing moderate amount of damage. I don't. I have SEC skills this turn, so it should be a little more than last turn. Yeah. Now next turn, I'm putting Vados on the field and putting Hit top left, and then I'm gonna be putting Blue Goku top middle because I'm killing Rose this turn. I'm gonna lower Vados' defense to zero, and Rose and Piccolo is gonna be one shot. So this should be a very decent turn. Plus, I'm killing your fastest character, which means I might be able to go first in the future. Yeah. All right, guys. But. Back to the DLC speculations. Sorry, I like. To, um, I want to win, but at the same time, do you have SCC skills or any turn up skills? You don't. Let's see this? Cool. He's gonna try and kill Vados. I'm lowering your defense to zero with Vados. I'll take it. Let's go, boy. This is what I like to see here. This is a good setup, because Vados' defense is going to be zeroed out. Ultra and Goku should be getting hit pretty hard. If you get a Spirit Bomb, I'll be shocked. <laughs> no way. Yo, the boys are back in town, dude. I want to go first, though. I want to go first, though. No! Cool. Blue Goku hasn't been hit, though, right? And I am lowering your attack by 30%. And he takes 10% less damage. You're going to die. But it's Blue Goku I want to be able to survive here. Blue Ultra Instinct Goku shouldn't kill. You have no damage buff. And I'm killing... I might even kill Vados. Because he has attack up SEC and ADM up SEC. Yeah, you should die. You should definitely die. And he, No, he's actually doing 30% more damage. Because Blue Goku buffs everybody's attack by 10%, damage dealt by 10% on left and right side of him. Forgot about that. So yeah, this is the big one. Oh, you have attack up F or something? Oh, he tanks it. Let's go. Blue Goku's better than Ultra Instinct Goku. He's gonna hit the Spirit Bomb next turn, but I'm killing you on the spot. Wow, three? You're dead, because that's a 50% damage buff he's got. Yo, I, Spirit Bomb got me lucky on this one. Spirit Bomb got me super lucky on this one. I would have been able to kill him with a double, though. Cool. So now I just got to keep up the pressure. 
How much speed you got? 2700, 1400. So 2700 plus 14, 2700 plus 1400 is like 4100. Yeah, 4100. Something around 4100. I win, DG. He's gonna get a spirit bomb. I was about to say, he's got to. I should win in speed, though. You ain't gonna take the spirit bomb. I would take the spirit bomb just in case I win and I lose in speed. GG. I take the spirit bombs. I wanna win. This is ranked, bro. GG. I got scared at first. I thought I took a 200. I was about to say, I just lost because of some dumb shit. I just did. Cool. Are you going to kill, though? I don't think you'll kill. But, guys, I'm super excited about this Android 21 figure. I don't... Like like I said in the last video I made, every female character we've ever gotten in this game has been fucking broken. So I expect her to be very broken. Oh, wow, you killed. Well, you did have, like, 8,000 attack, though. But, guys... That is going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe as always. Shout out to Jorge Adriano, 007. Your boy's on a roll. Your boy's won like four straight ranked games. Might have to keep it up. Might have to play more ranked because I got to just be more confident in my play. But guys, that is going to do it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know how you guys feel about Android 21 becoming a figure. Um, I have one more series coming up, which I think you guys will very much and like and enjoy. Um, but... Like I said, guys, love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Do-do-do to everybody. Stay saucy.